everybody, I decided I was going to dedicate this video to extended breastfeeding. I have a headache too, so I'm going to take my hair down. But, no, I just wanted to address some things. Like, some people really think that it's creepy to breastfeed past one year. So, I figured I would just make this video. I know there are so many activists and videos out there that I feel like... Part of me felt like I didn't really need to make this, but... I'm like, maybe one of my subscribers thinks it's weird, so here it goes. Um, a lot of people think that once a baby turns one year, that breast milk is no longer beneficial, which that is untrue. It still has antibodies in it and things like that that can keep your child from getting sick beyond the first year of life. It also helps, like, you know, natural... Like, they have a sense of attachment to their mother and helps later on with um, healthy relationships and things like that. And people are like, okay, I've gotten the question um, from family, like, when does it become weird? So let me just address this real quick. The likelihood of a mother actually breastfeeding to the point where it is weird or unnatural is extremely unlikely. Like... Yeah, sometimes you hear stories about a three- or four-year-old breastfeeding, but when do you ever hear a story about, I don't know, a 13-year-old breastfeeding? Almost never. Like, you almost never hear about that. A child will wean themselves naturally. It just, like, for the boys, they've kind of been back and forth, but let me just point something out. When they were 10 months old, I figured that they breastfed each of them 10 times a day. That's a lot. From 10 months old to 12 months, they're 12 months now, they breastfeed about five or six times a day each now. So naturally, they've already decreased how many feedings they are going, like how many feedings that they take in a day. So they're not, a baby will wean on their own. It's just, it's how nature works. Like, also when the, the babies have baby teeth for a reason. Once they lose their baby teeth, they lose the ability to latch onto their mother. So even at, if a mom decided to breastfeed until, I don't know, 11, I sincerely doubt that that kid would even be getting any milk. And yeah, that is weird and creepy, but I've never heard a story like that, ever. Like, so for all the people out there that think breastfeeding past one is creepy or unnecessary please do some of your research like I understand the point of view because there was a point in time where I used to see a mom breastfeeding and I'd be like why you know what I mean before I had kids myself so I get the mentality to some degree but try and educate yourselves and don't like don't go up to a mom who's like having her own special time together and like say something to her because like, she wants a moment, you know? Also, Leah. Tommy. Tommy's trying to creep me out. Anyway, I'm just trying to address that it's... Come on. I was just trying to say that, like, that's not true. Like, the World Health Organization actually recommends that mothers breastfeed for at least two years. Every organization for almost every other country, including Australia, Canada, and I want to say most parts of Europe recommend it for at least two years. I don't know if I'm personally going to go two years. Um, I'm just taking it kind of in stride, but... Every organization wouldn't recommend it if it wasn't beneficial or true. Give me just one second, sweetie. All I'm all I'm trying to say is is that you know the the mentality of people um, the mentality of a oh, wean at one year has been disproven so many times, and there was no re evidence or research to support that mentality to begin with. Is all I'm trying to say. So. You know what I mean? So if you liked this video, give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel. And I will see you guys. I'm not sure when I'm going to post my next video, but I'll see you guys in my next video.